In this video I will introduce you to Cloudberry Backup for Microsoft SQL Server. The product designed to backup Microsoft SQL Server databases and also have the full functionality of Cloudberry Backup Server Edition. Let's open the program and we can see Backup SQL Server button here. Click on it and it's open SQL Server Backup Plan Wizard. Now we need to select the storage. As in the Cloudberry Backup, you can choose one of various providers and also can choose file system for the local backup. I select an Amazon S3 account. Let's name our plan Backup SQL Server. On the next page we need to select SQL Server instance and the authentication method. The available choices are SQL Server and Windows Authentication. I will select SQL Server Authentication, enter username and the password. And here we can choose what databases we need to backup. If you want to backup only user databases and don't need to backup system databases, you can select the second option. And if you want to backup some specific databases, you can choose those in the third option. I select all databases. Now we can set up compression and encryption options. If you use Microsoft SQL Server 2008 or higher, compression will be performed by SQL Server. If not, compression will be performed by Cloudberry Backup. Here we have purge options settings and now we can specify schedule options. You can run a plan manually on a specific date or you can use recurring backup with predefined templates or use advanced schedule. I will look at two last options in more details. Let's choose the third option and now we need to specify the start date and select one of schedule templates. It can be for example full backup every week differential every day or full backup every day differential every 4 hours and transaction lock every hour. If the templates don't fit you, you can go to the advanced option and set up your own schedule in the advanced mode. For example, you can set up a full backup on every Sunday at 10 pm when nobody works with database. A differential backup every day at 10 pm when nobody work with database too. And transaction log backup every 30 minutes. Start date is when you want the first backup to run. If you need to execute some additional commands or scripts before and after the backup, you can use this option here. And now you can specify the notification options. On the summary page you can overview the backup plan options and finally our plan is created. If you run the plan from the backup plan step, it will perform full backup. Now let's go to the backup storage tab and here we can see the information about our SQL Server backups. We can see here our full differential and transaction logs backups, their dates and size. You can get your 15-day trial version of Cloudberry Backup for Microsoft SQL Server at cloudberrylab.com/sql.